impression taking with the transfer. In this video, we will see different techniques of impression taking with the help of transfers from BL3 implants company, their variety and conditions under which they are used. In order to achieve the perfect result and precision of dental prosthesis, it is necessary to pass an exact information about the position of the implant in the oral cavity of the patient to the dental laboratory. It is done by using the transfer. All transfers are designed to pass absolutely exact information about the position of the implant in the oral cavity of the patient, but on an equal footing, not all transfers meet the challenge equally well. There are two basic techniques for impression taking. The so-called open tray impression technique, when the transfer penetrates through the hole, and closed tray impression technique, when the transfer is fully submerged into the impression material inside the tray. Let's go through each of them. In order to implement the impression taking using open tray impression technique, we have to use a special transfer, which has a body with special retentional points, and a long screw, which goes through a hole of the tray. This transfer is installed in an implant in the oral cavity of the patient. It is fastened with fingers and later is screwed with a screwdriver from abutments. Then the necessary size of the tray should be attached to the shape of the jaw. The tray is inserted in the oral cavity. Then the area where a transfer screw should appear is marked. Once the hole is created in the chosen area, we should feed the transfer again so the screw should go through the hole easily. Then we have to knead an impression paste, put in in the area and take an impression. The advantage of this technique is its accuracy among all of our existing methods as a transfer is fixed absolutely tightly with a screw and does not move. But if we install a few different transfers all the shafts of installed implants are located not parallel. The transfer is placed in the distal zone of the jaw and the mouth opening is limited, then the use of such transfer is impossible. It is also not always possible to penetrate the hole through an impression paste with a screw in case of few transfers, so we use the closed tray impression technique in case of a large number of transfers and different shafts of implants. Let's go through it. The closed tray is used in order to make an impression with the closed tray impression technique. It is the closed tray with the body, smooth forms, symmetrical surface and a screw with the same forms. The transfer is installed in the implant, fastened with fingers and is fixed by a hex driver. Then we have to put an impression tray with an impression material and wait till the material is hardened. We have to wait till the impression paste is hardened completely because a tie-back may occur during the impression. 
When the paste is hardened completely, we can sharply remove the tray with an impression paste and unscrew the transfer, then put it to the chosen area in an impression paste. This technique is very easy to use, so the orthopedist doesn't have to search for a place of penetration through the tree if it is closed with an impression paste. It is convenient. One of the advantages is the possibility to screw a transfer with a screw, which completely fixes it to the abutment and passes the location completely and precisely. There is also a disadvantage, which is the fact that when installing back in an impression paste, the transfer may not match its place completely. It usually happens due to the hard impression paste or unset paste, or if the impression paste is licked to the hole under the screw, which makes it impossible for a transfer to match. It is better to cover this place with a wax once the transfer is fixed in the implant. Another disadvantage of the open tray impression technique is the fact that when two implants are located too close to each other or in cases of convergence or divergence of implants, it is very difficult to take impressions both by the open tray impression technique and the closed tray impression technique. The transfer has a sufficient height. Sometimes it is hard to install it without preliminary cutting and sometimes it is absolutely impossible. There is also a method of impression taking with the closed tray impression technique by using a transfer with clips. This transfer consists of a body with retentional ribs and a clip instead of a screw on the end. This clip may be opened or closed, which provides us with denser or more stable fixation in the implant. It works as follows. You put an implant in the oral cavity apply correctional paste and just put an impression tray with an impression paste. Then you wait till it is hardened completely and remove it. The transfer remains in the impression tray. A denser impression paste should be used in order to implement this technique correctly, so the transfer will be properly fixed in an impression paste and will remain in the impression tray, not in the oral cavity. The advantage of this technique is a clinical situation with implants placed too close to each other as well as a situation when the implant is placed in a distal zone and a contracture, i.e. limited mouth opening, prevents us from installing a longer transfer in a distal zone.
The disadvantage of this technique is the fact that in cases of strongly marked gingiva, the transfer hangs on the gingiva and bounces during the impression taking, which may risk the incomplete fixation of the implant. It should be checked. In order to provide a denser fixation of the transfer in the implant, it is necessary to separate clips a bit. However, it should be done very carefully in order to avoid the damage to the inner part of the implant. Now we will demonstrate you how each of them works. Let us knead an impression paste. We should do it quickly, so the paste won't lose its elasticity. Apply a correctional paste on implant collar with a syringe. Put an impression tray so we could see a transfer screw through an impression paste. Try to hold it still. It may be difficult with plastic trays, so it is better to use reinforced trays, thick walled and non-elastic. It is better to use plastic trays in the open tray impression technique because this tray may be easily perforated. Metal and impression trays are better for the closed tray impression technique. Let's wait till the material is hardened completely. So, the impression paste is hardened completely now. Now, in order to remove the impression tray, we have to unscrew the screw from the transfer that penetrates through the tray. Closed tray transfers are not screwed through the tray. Now we have to remove the paste sharply from the patient's jaw. What do we see? The transfer with clips remained in the tray in impression paste, open tray transfer remained in the tray as well, and the closed tray transfer remained in the model, i.e. in the oral cavity of the patient. It is fully placed, but note that the whole image is not so perfect as it was with the transfer with clip fixation and open tray transfer. We can see the damage of an impression paste. It is not critical, but the transfer itself should be stable in the impression paste and it should pass the information about the location of the implant.
Then the impression is transferred to the dental laboratory, where a technician fits implant analogs to the transfer and fills them with plaster. Another disadvantage of using the closed tray transfer with a screw may be the fact that it is impossible to fix the screw while putting the transfer. It should be done again only after removing the transfer from the impression. In the case of transfer with clips, this problem doesn't occur. It is fixed very tightly, including the fixation of the transfer for the open tray impression technique. However, there is also a disadvantage in this case. If the surgeon pushes too hard while fixing the screw, he may turn the transfer in an impression, which will result in a loss of accuracy for a while or for a long time. That doesn't happen to the transfer with clips. We don't have to unscrew or remove it. If the transfer with clips is installed correctly, it passes the information precisely. We only have to control so-called whiskers. If the transfer is not fixed properly and gingiva treads it out, the whiskers have to be separated and, on the contrary, if it is fixed in the implant too hard, there is a risk that it may stay in the oral cavity. In that case, you will have to put in, in the impression paste, which results in the loss of accuracy. We may drill a through hole in it in order to leave the transfer in the impression paste for sure. We may also make a plasticity from a light curing material or any other material on its surface before putting it in the oral cavity. This step will guarantee that the transfer will remain in the impression paste. Our video shows you that there is no perfect technique. Each technique has its advantages and disadvantages, which are individual in different clinical cases. Choosing individually the best technique for your clinical case, you will always have a high quality of your work and a success in your dental practice.